Hey guys, got another project for ya. Um, if you follow my Instagram, you would have seen me show you guys these a little while back. Um, what these are, they're little wood panels. They call them wood panels, wood panel canvas. Um, just looks like this. And it's a three pack, but the back side looks like this. So here's one of them out. They're just thin little lightweight things, but I don't have to go out in the garage and make it. So that's a plus. You can get this little three pack at Walmart and it's $4.97. Looking at my receipt, $4.97. But they also have a, what is this one? A 10 by 10 panel. Again, this is what it's supposed to look like. I flip it around. Um, this 10 by 10 panel was $4.97. And they also have a 12 by 12, like that. And the 12 by 12 was $5.94. I used to make wood signs after I had my fifth child. It just became way too hard to be out in the garage. So I kind of am taking a break from the signs. Um, I don't know if, if and when I'll do them again, but I do know that I have like this little creativity bug in me. And if I'm not doing something, I go nuts. Like I have to be doing something or I just feel worthless. So enter, enter these guys. Um, and this is probably just gonna be a little short little video, just to give you guys some ideas. But I hate wood stain. I'm just gonna say that right now. I hate, I love what wood stain does and how it brings out the, like the, the beauty of the wood. But it's just messy. Again, I don't want to be out in my garage. I'm not going to bring the stain in here because it stinks. So I got the idea. What about a marker? Like just a plain marker. While my kids do have regular markers, they're just like smushed to smithereens from them. Like coloring like this and running out of color. So I'm using my own marker. A Expo dry erase marker. Brown. And before you think, oh, Caitlin, you're crazy. Like, that's, just, that's not gonna work, it's stupid. It's gonna, make a, it's gonna make a mess, it's gonna bleed, it's gonna whatever. It doesn't. I already tried it out. And look at this. It does a great job. Super easy. You just take the cap off and color your border brown. You can paint it. Or you can get paper and Mod Podge and glue it in there so then it's a frame sign with a cute little design. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get this border finished um, and then I'm going to do probably this one this size in one of these papers. I don't know which one I want to do. This would be even this would be pretty not staining the border. That would be pretty too. But um I will finish getting this colored so you guys can see how that turns out and then um we'll mod podge this paper in there so you can see what that looks like too. So here we go. There we go, we've got it all done. If you want, you can grab a pencil or chalk pencil, write a little saying in there, kind of sketch it out, see what you like first, and then go over it with a permanent marker or a paint pen, anything, or even paint. So there's that one, super simple. Next one we're gonna do, get this paper out of the way. Next one we're gonna do is Mod Podge. Okay, so we're gonna Mod Podge this as a background for this one. So what you're gonna do is first you're gonna measure this space out. We already know, well, I don't know, it might it might be less than 10 by 10. This whole thing might be 10 by 10. Um, I'll grab a tape measure and then measure this out and get my paper cut. 
Okay, so we got the paper cut out. I think I'll leave this one like this. I don't know if I'll stain it. Kind of cute, not stained, but it could be cute stained. It would kind of look cute with a little stained border. I'm just gonna stain the border real quick. Okay. Sorry, I'm so indecisive. And technically I'm not staining the border, but I'm still gonna say it. dries clear so if you get it on the border don't worry about it okay so once you get this all painted try to do it fast so it doesn't get so it doesn't dry okay like that grab your paper and just put it in there and just set it down on top of that glue And what I do guys is I also put, I don't know if you have to, but I just do it. Um, I put another layer of Mod Podge on top of the paper. Okay, so I've got that painted on there. Just like that. Do you see these little ripples? Not even worried about it because um, when I did one the other day, I'll show it to you even though I don't like it. I don't like what I wrote on it. Okay, so this one I did the other day and then I wrote on it, but I made it like, I just don't like my, my lettering, so. Ugh, whatever, I'm just gonna show you. Anyways, this one was all like, the one that I, that I did this one down here was all bubbled up like that. And I tried super hard to smooth it out and it just wasn't working. But when it dried, you can't see them anyways. Maybe right here, maybe just a little bit, but that's this one I did with paper. Again, just, just ignore that, okay? Like, look at the rest of it. Um, so I'm not even worried about this one. And if it does, if it does look wrinkly, whatever, it's going to my own house. No one else is gonna notice. Me, I'll notice. That's fine. So there's that one. Let it dry. This one, what is some, what are some like folly things to say? Happy fall y'all, I hate that, I hate it. With a passion, I just, ugh, cringy. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just write fall on this one since the other one turned out so yucky. Um, I may or may not have already wrote something on this one and didn't like it, erase it. Something like that. I don't know. Kind of cute. Might delete it later. But hey, it's better than that. Alright guys, that's all I got to show you. That's my little craft that I was excited for, for these things. You can do whatever you want. Paint them, stain them, use actual stain, stain them. Um, but that's all I got for you guys. See ya.